Well, welcome back to another Celebrity Sweets. I'm Ethan, and welcome to episode three of my mini series, Baking Basics. In the last two episodes, I showed you guys how to make a vanilla and a chocolate cake, and I'll put links to those videos in the description below. But we made two cakes, and what is a cake without frosting? So today we are going to be making my buttercream frosting recipe. And I say my buttercream frosting recipe because it's kind of like a hybrid between two types of buttercream. If you're not familiar, there are three types of buttercream frosting. Italian meringue buttercream, which is egg whites and a hot sugar mixture. Then there's Swiss meringue, which is basically the same as Italian, just a different process. And then there's American buttercream, which you're probably most familiar with. That's kind of the stuff you find in the tub as a powdered sugar and butter base. It's very light and airy. It tastes really good. And it also holds its structure and form, so you can like get some nice thick layers of frosting. If you're ready to frost, I'm ready to frost. Let's get started. This frosting is an Italian meringue and American buttercream hybrid. So meringue means that the eggs are whipped to peaks. So that's what we're gonna start with. Over here, I have eight eggs. We're gonna need eight egg whites. So we're not gonna need the yolks. They're at room temperature, which always helps when baking. And I've also got a stand mixer. You don't have to use a stand mixer, but whenever you're making meringue, we're going to be beating things for a long period of time and you're kind of just going to be standing there. Start by separating out your egg whites and egg yolks. We'll only be needing the whites and add those to your stand mixer. Once you've separated out all of your eggs and your egg whites are in your stand mixer, now we want to beat these up until we start to get a soft peak. I've got a whisk attachment on here and that's what's going to help us do this. Beat on medium high speed until soft peaks start to form. You can see that our meringue is starting to peak, and this is where we want to stop for right now. The next thing we want to do is prepare our hot sugar mixture. So over here, I've got a sauce pot with a candy thermometer, and then I've also got some sugar. This is just granulated sugar, and we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar to our pot. To that sugar mixture, we're going to add half a cup of water. Now, take that sugar mixture over to the stove, and on medium-high heat, Cook it until it starts to boil. Once it starts boiling, make sure to read your candy thermometer and remove from the heat once at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Slowly pour your hot sugar mixture into your egg whites, beating on high speed for about six to eight minutes or until peaks begin to form again. Once your Italian meringue buttercream is done, you'll know when the sides of the bowl are no longer hot to the touch and when it's gained so much volume. The next thing we want to do is add in some butter. This is a pound of butter or four steaks or two cups, however you want to look at it. And now we're going to slowly add in our butter a little bit at a time until the frosting becomes rich and creamy. Our butter has been whipped into our frosting and this is pretty much Italian meringue. So if you wanted to stop right here, you totally can. This is an Italian meringue recipe. However, I'm going to add some vanilla extract and this vanilla extract is actually clear and I'm almost out. But I use this all the time when I'm making frostings because sometimes when you use normal vanilla extract, it gives it that like brown tint. And we definitely want bright, vibrant colors. So we're gonna use clear. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to our frosting. And the last thing we're going to do, this is gonna be like the American buttercream part of this. We're going to add one cup of powdered sugar to your mixer. And here we have it, our buttercream frosting that we made today. This frosting is light and airy, but it still holds its shape very well. It's perfect for icing cakes and crumb coating because it's nice and smooth. It's also really good for cupcakes if you want to pipe a design on the top. And if you happen to make anything using this frosting, please share it with me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, if you have any other requests for another Baking Basics or any other mini series I should do, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone who wants to learn how to bake and needs a frosting recipe or someone who just needs a new one. Until next time, frost a cake. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video, and down here's a playlist focused on baking basics. That's all for today. I will see you guys next Tuesday for episode 4.